Today, I want to talk to you about the CRP High Sensitivity Cardiac Risk Assessment. Heart disease is a leading cause of death in the United States, according to the CDC. One of the ways to determine if you are at risk for a heart attack is measuring the amount of inflammation in your body. That's because chronic low-grade inflammation is part of arteriosclerosis, the process that leads to cholesterol-clogged arteries, which sets the stage for strokes and heart attacks. If you have other symptoms of heart disease, like chest pains, high blood pressure, nausea, indigestion, heartburn, stomach pain, feel dizzy, lightheaded, arm pain, persistent cough or excessive sweating, it's a good idea to get a CRP HS blood test. The C-reactive protein high sensitivity blood test, or CRPHS, is used to evaluate the level of inflammation in the body. When your body experiences inflammation, it floods the bloodstream with CRP. A high level of CRP is not good for you. However, a positive result does not necessarily mean that your inflammation is in your arteries, which is why the test is also used to determine if you have arthritis, pelvic inflammation disease, or IBS. In short, the CRP-HS blood test can be used to aid in the diagnosis and treatment of a number of conditions. The results may be interpreted differently based on how the test is being used. Once you purchase this test, you'll find the lab core nearest to you to get your blood drawn. There's no fasting required in the taking of this test. However, if you take medication, you might want to check with your doctor to see if taking that medication on the day of the test will skew the results. And if you're taking another test that does require fasting at the same time, know that you don't have to schedule the CRP for another day. Fasting has no impact on the results of this test. There's no need to be in the dark not knowing what's going on in your own body. Don't guess. Don't suffer. Know your numbers and let Walk-In Lab help you take control of your health today.